All right, so well, this is going to be a uh, really basic, um, quick ten-minute rundown of a chainsaw two-stroke motor, how it works. If I upload this right, well, I'm going to say, I'm not going to do spoilers just in case I mess up and you know, because I mess up all the time. Anyway, we're going to talk about um, just. Real generally, really quick, piston ported uh, chainsaw engines. And uh, what I mean by piston ported is on the on the intake, the it actually uses the intake charge actually uses the piston as essentially as a um, a valve to open and close air going into the um, crankcase. So the specimen I have over here, this is like I think a, an older steel two um, O twenty T. It's an okay little saw. Anyway, um, so let me see if I get. You know. All right. So see the piston in there? Yeah. Let me chalk her up a little bit. See the piston in there? Oh, you can see the rings. And then it opens, completely opens up, but you never see the top of the piston. Well, the trick is, is that it's using the piston just to cover up when the crankcase is pressurized. So when this opens up, it's actually causing a vacuum inside the crankcase, which um, is actually drawing, in, drawing its charge in from the carburetor. And then it keeps on going, goes around, closes. The charge inside the crankcase is now compressed. And then it's actually, I don't know where to put that other cylinder. It's actually running, there's, it's actually running up these runners on the side because as the piston comes down, um, those runners are open up on the top and actually lets the charge into the cylinder. Now, it's kind of difficult right here and kind of murky, but stay with me. Why the those charges are open, those uh, the the transfer ports are open, the exhaust ports open too. For mo I think most of the duration, so um, that um, that's why a lot of times you'll get a little bit you'll get an oil exhaust is because you're getting your charge, there's charge coming, there's a little bit of charge always coming out of the, the exhaust port. Uh, a lot of times they cure that by, you know, like on dirt bikes, you use expansion chambers to when you get in the power band. Um, or mufflers or whatnot. And that's why you always have, pretty much, you lose power by not having a muffler on a, uh, on a, any two stroke. And yes, I'm talking to you, t you teenagers that like want to take the muffler off of everything because. We all know noise equals horsepower. I mean, am I right? But, uh, shoot, I missed something. I, I thought of something I forgot to say. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's the basic term. This is, uh, this impulse right here. It's called an impulse line. What it is, is, also, if you ha have a saw with air leak, check the link from like the impulse line going from the crankcase to the carburetor. That she it's kind of like a fuel pump. So you guys have a good one now.